The Jaronium is a monophonic electronic musical instrument invented about 1929 by Friedrich Troutwein in Berlin at the Musik Exewels Music and Radio Lab, the Rundfunk over such still. Soon Oscar Sala joined him, continuing development until Sala's death in 2002. Description, instead of a keyboard, its manual is made of a resistor wire over a metal plate which is pressed to create a sound. Expressive playing was possible with this wire by gliding on it, creating vibrato with small movements. Volume was controlled by the pressure of the finger on the wire and board. The first Rodoniums were marketed by Telefunken from 1933-35, 200 were made. The sounds were at first produced by neon tube relaxation oscillators 3-4, later, thyrotrans, then transistors, which produced sawt-like waveforms. The pitch was determined by the amount of resistive wire chosen by the performer, allowing vibrato, quarter tones, and portamento. The oscillator output was fed into two parallel resonant filter circuits. A foot pedal controlled the volume ratio of the output of the two filters, which was sent to an amplifier. On June 20, 1930 Oscar Sala and Paul Handemitt gave a public performance at the Berliner Musik Hall called Neue Musik Berlin 1930 inches to introduce the Trotonium. Later, Oscar Sala toured Germany with the Trotonium. In 1931 he was the soloist in a performance of Hindemith's concert for Trotonium with String Quartet. He also soloed in the debut of Hindemith's student Harold Jensmer's concert for Trotonium and Orchestra. Paul Hindemith wrote several short trios for three Trotoniums with three different tunings, bass, middle, and high voice. His student, Harold Jensmer, wrote two concertos with all orchestra, one for the monophonic Trotonium and, later, one for Oscar Sala's mixture Trotonium. One of the first editions of Sala was to add a switch for changing the static tuning. Later he added a noise generator and an envelope generator, so-called Schlage work, formant filter, several band pass filters, and the subharmonic oscillators. These oscillators generate a main pitch and several subharmonics, which are not multiples of the fundamental tone, but fractions of it. For any of the now two manuals, four of these waves can be mixed and the player can switch through these predefined settings. Thus, it was called the mixture Trotonium. Oscar Sala composed music for industrial films. But the most famous was the bird noises for Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. The Trotonium was also used in the Dresden premiere of Richard Strauss's Japanese festival music in 1942 for emulating the gongs and bells parts and in the 1950s in Bayreuth for the Munsauvad bells in Wagner's Parsifal. Manufacturers the German manufacturer Dopfer sells some devices for the commercial market to allow for Trotonium-like synthesizer control. The German manufacturer Trotonix sells custom-made Trotoniums. Present Trotonium performers, although Oscar Sala developed the Trotonium further, he did not teach his art to any pupil. However, Peter Pitchler, a Munich musician and artist, had heard the sound of the Trotonium when he was a young man and was fascinated by its emotional impact and dynamic range. Pitchler found he could not forget the unique sound, he searched obsessively for anyone who could help him understand the instrument and he finally tracked down Sala. In 1996 the two met in Sala's studio in Berlin, and the result was the preservation of much of Sala's knowledge. Pitchler was transformed by the experience but he had to wait 15 long years before he could afford to commission his own mixture Trotonium from the company Trotonix.
he wrote a musical theater piece about the fathers of the Trotonium, Wiedersehen in Trotonien, which was performed at the German Museum in Munich, for the 100th birthday of Oscar Sala in 2010. For this theater piece Pitchler commissioned three Vox Trotonien, a smaller version of the instrument, one of which was bought by the German Museum later for its permanent collection. Pitchler is still cooperating closely with the German Museum in Munich that is administering Sala's estate. Since then Peter Pitchler has been making regular appearances with the mixture Trotonium in various musical genres. The classical music composed for this instrument by Paul Hindemith, Harold Jensen and Oscar Sala for instance is extremely challenging for even an experienced musician to play. Peter Pitchler is one of the very few musicians in the world who has mastered this extraordinary instrument and is also composing for it. Mm -hmm.